comes to losing weight, it comes down to two things, decision making and the choices that you make on a daily basis. Consistency is the name of the game. The more consistent you are with your training and nutrition, the better the results are gonna be. And I've always said this, keep it super simple. The more simple it is, the easier it is to stick to. The more complicated it, well, the more you're gonna struggle with it. And we've all been there. We've all lost weight, we've done really well, it didn't fit our lifestyle, it didn't suit our goals, and guess what, we put it back on, but not now. So what we need to do is find something that aligns with our current goals and our current lifestyle. For example, if you're able to train three times a week factoring that into your weekly schedule and that's what we're going to do this morning we're going to head off into the gym and get a workout done by doing it early and first thing in the morning it sets you up for the rest of the day and it also means there's no distractions for the rest of the day and you're not coming to eight o'clock or seven o'clock in the evening when the gym's busy thinking how am i going to get a workout because you haven't got any energy and morning workouts are challenging the thought of staying in that bed for that extra 10 minutes staying nice and warm seems a good idea at the time but actually it doesn't doesn't align with who you are and what you want to do and what you want to achieve. So start making decisions on doing hard things. People don't want to do the hard things and it's the hard things that get people to where they want to be. No one got anywhere in life without doing the hard work so that's what we need to do. Get up, get it done. Now I'm not saying that everyone should work out in the mornings, I'm just finding that it sets you up for the rest of the day and you're putting yourself first and that's where all of this kind of stems from. You are not putting yourself first and that's exactly what you need to do. You need to make sure that you are the priority. Your fitness and your health is the most important thing that you have so you need to look after it. So that's why we're going to head into the gym now and do a little workout. <laughs> nothing better than that post-workout feeling, feeling that you've already achieved something in your day, working on yourself. And that's why I always recommend getting up at the crack of dawn and getting your workout done first thing. The reason why is you're not chasing the day, it's time to focus on you. Now I understand that some people can't always work out in the morning, perhaps you have a busy job, perhaps you have kids. That simply doesn't align with your lifestyle. It's all about finding things that can fit into your current lifestyle and work around it. Here's a few tips that I think will help you and I've used in the past to help me, is setting specific days to go to the gym so allocating time in your busy schedule perhaps you need to talk to your partner or work and work around it start low and build your way up there's no point trying to do five or six sessions in one week because you just can't handle the volume and it's not practical perhaps you just start off with two or three sessions get used to that for a couple of weeks and then maybe increase it from there but over the years I've always learned less is more the more you do the more you're gonna get burnt out and not the better results making sure you prioritize your recovery so what's going to help you in the long game? Now I understand that's easier said than done. Kieran don't always have motivation. Motivation is just a made up word in my opinion. You don't need to be motivated to go to the gym. There are certain days where I don't want to go to the gym, but I make sure it's part of my daily routine to go to the gym because no one else is going to do it for me. And I've always said after a gym session, I always feel much better. Yes, it's hard to get out of bed in the morning or it's hard to go to the gym after the evening, but trust me, put in the work now and you will be rewarded. And honestly, something is better than nothing just start doing something really simple perhaps you don't have a gym membership or you're not able to go to the gym because of some sort of anxiety or you just literally don't have the confidence to do that start off from training from home you can do an amazing amount of work with body weight obviously the progression over a period of time isn't going to be there but the main thing is you're doing something and that's what i truly believe there is an obesity problem in the world and if people just took the 20 minutes out of their day to exercise to focus on their physical and mental health the world would be so much better and i truly believe when you get your body moving you start making better decisions and I've always found it this way once I work out I know that I've done the hard work this morning and I don't want to ruin it for the rest of the day piling absolute rubbish into my body because it's no good so talking about food I need to go to the supermarkets because I bought a ninja creamy it arrived yesterday and I haven't got any ingredients to make some protein ice cream so let's go to the shops and get the essentials <laughs> So here it is, the Ninja Creamy. Let's open this bad boy up. Now, let's 
rewind back to earlier in the video when I spoke about nutrition. Nutrition is really important when it comes to weight loss. Effectively, it is calories in, calories out. On a consistent basis, you need to be burning more calories than what you're putting into your body. And what you put into your body on a daily basis really does matter. So I truly believe when it comes to dieting, it's personal preference. You need to be eating the foods that you like, and I'm a big fan of macro-friendly foods. So this thing is gonna be super easy when it comes to dieting. Ice cream, milkshakes, frozen yogurt, frappe, slushies. Now all of those foods I've just told you are super yummy and the food industry knows that and they add things into that to make it taste good. Now when they add stuff into it, it boosts the calorie content up. Basically, you're consuming more calories than what you think. If you did that on a consistent weekly basis, you'll be overeating and put yourself into a calorie surplus and gaining weight. So what I'm a big believer is making your food from scratch. So stuff like this ice cream maker will be handy because you know exactly what you're putting into it. You can make it high protein, you can make it to your specification. Ultimately, making sure it fits your lifestyle eating the foods you enjoy while still losing weight that's going to conclude today's youtube video hopefully it's just giving you some value some information and most importantly just giving you the motivation to get off the couch to get off the sofa to go out chase your dreams and most importantly just work on your health and your fitness and most importantly become the best version of yourself i hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll catch you in the next one